Hey guys, I got something a little different to show you today. LED light pods. Now these are going to go underneath my motorcycle for a nice underglow effect on my motorcycle. I had a set on there, but they quit working. Different kind. So I'm going to try these, see how these work. Now I'm going to put them under my bike, but you can put them anywhere. Put them under your car, under a razor if you wanted to. Or you could even put them up under the dash of your car. A lot of the newer cars now are coming with this ambient lighting where you can have different color lighting coming from under your dash, under your seats. You can do the same thing with these. Put them under there, give you a real nice red, green, blue ambient lighting in your vehicle. It's wireless, comes with a wireless remote, a little controller, and your harnesses for hooking it up, and six of the LED pods. Now these are really simple to hook up. You've got your power wire, and you've got a ground inside your vehicle, razor, car, what have you. And you've got just one lead that comes out of here. I'm going to plug into either your pod, or you've got these extension harnesses. You plug it into there, and you plug your pod into that. And then the next pod will either plug into that pod, or you have another extension harness if you want, depending on how far apart you want to space them. And then you just mount this little controller somewhere, and you're all set. Wireless controls. This wire is your antenna. You just want to make sure you route that away from the module. Because if you put it on there, you might get some interference. So you just want to route that away from the module. Strap that up somewhere, and you're ready to go. Now, of course, I had to power them up and try them out before I install them. Kind of see how they look. Like I said, it's a very simple installation. You got your red, your hot wire, black, your ground. You just plug one pod right into the controller. Continue them all the way around. And when you go to mount them, there's double stick, 3M adhesive on the back. Just stick it right over wherever you want it. And you can use these harnesses to extend it get it the right length you want but for now I just got them connected one to another just to test them out and you've got your remote four button remote you're on and off different colors goes through all sorts of different shades And then of course there's different sequences it'll go through. Didn't come with any paperwork, so I'm not sure how many different modes there are, but there seems to be a bunch of different sequences it'll go through. Different modes, strobes, fade in and out, color change. Pretty cool. Now I just got to get them hooked up. Now before I install these LEDs under my bike, I kind of wanted to see what they look like under the dash of my Lincoln. Sound like a good idea. So I tried wiring them up in the car, just temporary, just to see what it looked like. And I ran into a small problem. Two of the extension cords didn't work. And after looking at them closely, two of these wires were switched. Now the right order of the wires was blue, green, red, and black. And on one end of the connector was actually switched on two of my harnesses. Now it was a really quick fix. I don't know how good you can see it on the camera. But right there on that shiny side, you take a pocket knife or some real small pick. And there's a little tab there. You push in and you can pull the wire right out of the connector. Switch them, stick them back in, and you're ready to go. Not a big deal, and I'll be sure to let the customer service know about it. But in case you get one like that, it's a real easy fix. Just do that and you'll be good to go. Well, there it is. Let's see how she looks. It actually looks pretty sweet. I actually kind of like it. Like I said before, you got several different uh, solid colors you can choose from. Stay on solid all the time. Goes through different shades. The camera doesn't pick up the different shades as well, but you can see them with your eyes better. All these are different solid colors that you leave on all the time if you want. I like the red and I like the blue. Not so sure about the pink, but hey, ladies might like it. Purple. Then you got your modes you can go through. Sort of like a strobe mode. 
pulsation mode there. Get it to randomly cycle through the different colors. If you're into that sort of fun stuff. And you got your strobes through the different colors. Back to the different pulsation through the colors. Like I said, I haven't exactly figured out all the modes yet. I just have to play around with the remote and figure it out. But there are different modes. I'm going to show them to you here. And back to solid. Now what I did, I put two of the pods under each. One under, two under the driver's side, two under the passenger side, up under the dash. And then the other two, I put one each under the back seat. So you get a nice glow back there. Actually looks pretty cool. All right, let's see what it looks like from the driver's seat. Looks pretty cool. I really like that. And you can see just one pod under each back seat. A really good job lighting up the back. Well, like I said before, then a lot of the newer cars now they're coming out with ambient lighting in them, where you can set the different colors and have a different ambient glow coming from under your dash and under your seats and all that kind of fun stuff and this is just basically does the exact same thing for a lot less money now this is a little brighter than those I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing I kinda like it, it looks pretty sweet now I've just got this stuff temporarily strapped underneath the dash and under my seats just so I could see what it looked like to see if I liked it you know maybe show you guys what it looks like so you can get an idea if you might like it or not but after seeing it I really like it and if you look at that temperature 58 degrees I don't know it's getting a little cold to be riding the bike anyway winter's coming it's gonna be snowing soon I think I might just go ahead and permanently install this kit right here in the old Lincoln and then I'll get another kit for the bike later now just a couple quick suggestions though if you are gonna put this outside like under your car on your motorcycle like I was gonna the connections aren't weather tight at all on this so I'd pack the connectors full of uh, dielectric grease and wrap them up with tape real good or anything you can do really to weatherproof those connectors because if you live in an area like I do where there's a lot of salt on the roads those connectors aren't going to last very long they're going to corrode they're just going to stop working on you so anything you can do to weatherproof those connectors uh, another suggestion I really like these strobes it's really cool I probably wouldn't recommend driving around like that sure it looks cool but you don't really want to be crashing because you're distracted by all the strobes going on now all in all I'd say it's a pretty cool kit like I said there was that little problem with the wiring harness but that's no big deal that's an easy fix get that taken care of I'll let the customer service know hopefully they'll get it taken care of before you get yours anyway so I don't know I really like it it's a pretty cool kit I'll uh, put a link to where I got it on Amazon in the description below thanks for watching